Hello there, it's Luke from DungeonDown.net. I'm here to talk to you about Delver, a roguelike adventure game with some Tomb raider -y sounding music here. Um, you explore a dungeon, kill some guys, pick up skulls, pick up potions. Uh, it's a fun little game. I've been enjoying it so far. Very action-focused. Actually reminds me a little bit of old games like Doom and Quake. Um, in the sort of winding areas and the, the maze-like maps, but also in the way that the combat works because it's sort of based around projectiles a lot of the time and uh, point hits, and so you can do a good job of avoiding guys if you sort of run up against them and then back away. I'm not doing a great job there, but I leveled up, so the damage is mitigated. It's a lot like other rogue games um, in that you learn a little bit every time you explore. You learn what different potions do, what items do. You saw at the beginning there I used a skull to activate a trap. And that's something that I figured out relatively early into the game, but forget now and then and comes back to bite you every so often. So you see there switching between the sword and the wand. The wand shoots a projectile, the sword of course swings, different swords do different types of damage. There you'll see I took some hits, evidence by the blood. Enemies can walk into traps as well, so you're not the only person. See that's quite satisfying when you blow someone up with the um, wand. You Unsuccessful a little bit there, but when you do blow someone up with the wand, you, you really blow them up and that's that's pretty fun seeing the pixels fly out. Looks a lot like Minecraft this actually um, which is one of those things that you'll find a, a big trend in these independent games nowadays is to have these Minecraft looking games uh, seems to be the still actually the flavor of the I don't know the last few years I suppose when it comes to these kind of games there you'll see a slime walked into the trap there. Didn't kill him though he seemed to survive I think that was a poison trap, so perhaps if I had left him, he would have met his fate. So you'll see guys can be relatively easy to take down depending on what or, or who they are. Some of the enemies have swords, other ones have wizards. The wizards are actually easier to kill with melee attacks, um, but the normal guys can take quite a few hits. You can end up hitting them quite a few times in order to kill them. As I said, the music reminds me a little bit of Tomb Raider 2, I think, is what I'm thinking of when I uh, hear the music. Uh, Tomb Raider 2, another nice dungeon explorer game. There we go, leveled up. That guy appeared out of nowhere. I don't know where he was because we were through here a while ago. I don't know if fellas reappear every so often. Maybe he teleported through. I see here now I'm going to try and use the skull and be crafty, but it... Um, don't believe it worked out for me quite so well here because the area of effect still managed to hurt me so that was no good I'm trying to figure out now which weapon I had equipped there it is got it anyway that's good still got hit by the trap on the way out but you've got to break a few eggs there's something must have been hitting me but I don't know what it was oh here we are Guy, and as you'll see, a little bit like Doom there with the the way the projectiles fly reminds me of the rockets in Doom. The imps fire as well. And here we are on floor two. So I don't know how many floors there are currently in this beta version of Delver, but I'd imagine it's, it's a, a few. Anyway, there you see there's no charges left in my staff, so you'll have to pick up another staff. I don't know if you can actually recharge your staff. Or your wand, rather, any other way. I'm not so sure. So I said these games are a lot about figuring these kinds of things out as you go. It's quite a relaxing game. It, it can get a little bit overwhelming at times when there's a lot of enemies on screen, but most of the time you're managing the groups quite well it's about kind of crowd control and you can ferry them down 
single file down a corridor quite easily. So it actually ends up being relatively uh, stress-free a lot of the time. It's just fun to explore the dungeons and get new armor and whatnot. I like the way they explode, leaving behind loot sometimes, so that's fun. I don't know if they have any plans to make this uh, playable with more than one person, but I could see it being fun cooperatively, although maybe a little bit easy at these early stages if you had more than one person here. I also like the style of this uh, a fair amount. I think the spritey looking enemies that are sort of 2D remind me of, well, a very primitive kind of Wolfenstein 3D or, or Doom look. Um, I like the way they're kind of cute. He kind of looks like a, uh, the, the enemies a little bit look like characters out of uh, old arcade games, maybe a little bit out of Gauntlet actually. It has a bit of a Gauntlet feel. We are the that potion there will regain your health, I believe, the red ones. So those are handy to have. On to floor three. Let's see what's on floor three. These guys are hard. They appear to have maybe some armor, because they take a few hits, those spiders. Here is a room full of skulls, so telling a story, I suppose, through its randomness in that uh, you'll see a lot of skulls lying around so there's probably bad things down here but we knew that already because you're attacked nearly the second you you step into the dungeon it's nice sound effects here i'm poisoned and i haven't yet figured out which potion stops you from being poisoned but it seems that if you use a red one you can regain your health to full and I'm not sure if that was because the poison had ran out or if the health potion mitigates the effects of poison as well, but I suppose it's all about trying to find out. I think a guy just exploded himself there. Either that or his projectile missed. It's it's sometimes hard to tell. It's just the missed projectile. That's a beholder from uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Recognize that. And a little bit like uh, Dungeon Master as well, of course, I should say. Though less emphasis so far on puzzles. Uh, Dungeon Master had some, some good puzzles in it. Also, the combat in this is a little bit more, I would say, intuitive than Dungeon Master. You don't actually have to swing your mouse to, to swing. So that's a good thing in my book. Gonna try the old skull trick again there. I think I got it that time. It's one of my favorite things. When I figured that out, I felt very smart, but, you know, ob obviously it's, it's not actually all that smart. It's pretty obvious, I think, when, when you stop and think about it. This room here seems to have some good stuff in it. I mean, you would think it does, being so big and at the end of the dungeon. Ah, there we go, chainmail. Very good. So you see here the interface screen. Quite simply, you've got different parts of your body. You can put on different items leveled up there and you get all your health back when you level up. So there's a good sense of that, those old sort of games, Diablo or, or whatnot, or any of those games where you would level up and it would bring back your health where the temptation may be not to actually use a potion, but to see if you can get that extra little bit of experience in order to regain your health and so it, it there's a nice tension there maybe you don't want to use a, a potion every time you get on low health because you might be close to a level up and you seem to level up quite quickly at the beginning here there's there's quite a good clip to it I got hit by a trap there but you know sometimes you don't notice them really no charges in that so I should probably replace it out with another one. 
thought there was something there. Let me see. Not here. We go. Replace it. It's good, and you can drop items as well. Uh, so far, there doesn't seem to be any economy for selling items. We're onto the fourth floor now, and you'll see just how easy it is to mess everything up very quickly in Delver. So I'm surrounded here, spider and a um, bat there, two bats in fact, two spiders. Two spiders, one bat. Here's a beholder going to get me. I probably should have checked my health. I had a red potion there, you see, so I could have easily gone, but there I go. It's over.